Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be reviewing the top 8 best saltwater spinning reels. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to rank them based on their quality, durability, customer reviews, and more. If you want to know about the best pricing and more information, you can check the description links below. Number 8 in my list is Quantum Smoke Saltwater Spinning Reels. I like it for inshore finesse work. The 2500 and 3000 deliver plenty of power. However, you always feel like you're holding the smallest of reels. The 5000 is pretty capable of punching up, but while it has a healthy 22 pounds of max drag, the 4000 and 5000 are limited to inshore work. With more spool capacity, the Quantum Smoke would be a capable light surf fishing reel but minimum spool capacities make it a little impractical unless you're casting right at your feet. There are 11 bearings in the smoke delivering the siltiest and lightest of cranks you can imagine. These stainless, corrosion-resistant bearings support high-strength forged aluminum gears housed in an all-aluminum body construction. The body delivers excellent rigidity benefits, keeping gears in perfect mesh. However, it also offers an added level of protection against water ingress, eliminating joins where water often breaches. Gear ratios are perfect for lure anglers, and this is what the reel is best suited for. For those who like to spool up with the lightest of line and cast ultralight lures, the Smoke PT is ideal. Spool capacities are less than generous, so unless you're fishing ultralight mono, this reel is better suited to using braids. In many respects, the smoke is all about the sport. This is apparent in its performance, style, ergonomics, and appearance. The ceramic carbon drag system is velvety smooth, consistent, and easy to refine. It's been designed to be used in saltwater, so its corrosion resistance is excellent. Number 7 in my list is Okuma ITX Saltwater Spinning Reels. Light and tough, the Okuma ITX includes many of the features in more expensive reels for less than $150. To cut cost and weight, Okuma uses high-tech carbon fiber in the side plates and rotor. Inside, the reel boasts seven ball bearings and a ball bearing in the handle. The rotor is designed to improve air and water flow, keeping the reel turning smoothly and cutting weight. The weight savings add up when using the Okuma ITX for finesse fishing flounder, bass, redfish, and trout. The ITX allows me to work the lure with careful action. When I set the hook, the ITX's reliable anti-reverse immediately throws on the brakes. Light reels still have to stop a heavy fish, and the ITX uses stacked carbon fiber drag washers protected by a water-resistant gasket to slow a speeding redfish or leaping speckled trout. The Okuma ITX is the best saltwater spinning reel for the money with features found on more expensive reels. Number 6 in my list is Shimano Saragossa Saltwater Spinning Reels. When I'm casting lures or live bait to cobia, red drum, and striped bass, my Saragossa Southwest is the best inshore saltwater spinning reel for the task. The Saragossa Southwest incorporates some of Shimano's best technology at an affordable price. The reel is certified IPX8 waterproof to keep salt and sand out of the super tough cold forged gears. The pinion gear is supported on both ends with ball bearings assuring the reel handle smoothly turns the bale under great pressure. The water resistant carbon fiber drag handles high temperatures without breaking down. A spinning reel is best for casting light lures or live baits. I can throw an eel to a passing cobia or pitch a top water popper to striped bass hiding in the rocks with perfect control and quick response. Then when the fish turns to run, the Saragossa's smooth drag and sturdy body combine for exceptional cranking power. My Saragossa Southwest has caught hundreds of big cobia and red drum, and it continues to perform just as good as the day I bought it. Number 5 in my list is Shimano Stella Saltwater Spinning Reels. When the best anglers in the world target big blue fin tuna, giant trevally, sailfish, and wahoo, they use Shimano Stella Spinning Reels. That's because no other spinning reel has proved more reliable. Throwing top water lures to the world's toughest fish requires a spinning reel that makes a long cast and produces incredible power. The Stella incorporates Shimano's best technology to make the heavy-duty reel lightweight and powerful. To land an accurate cast in front of feeding fish, 
the bale uses a super slow oscillation that layers the line for least friction. The lip of the bale is shaped to further reduce friction for maximum casting distance. A one-piece airlight bale reduces rotating weight on the big reel. A full metal body houses corrosion-resistant bearings supporting cold forged gears and a machine shaft. To back up the sturdy gears and shaft, the Stella Star is an advanced drag system that is waterproof and dissipates heat for the smoothest release of line while maintaining maximum pressure. There are plenty of worthy heavy-duty spinning reels at the tackle shop, but Shimano Stella is the most popular big game reel on the water for one reason. Number 4 in my list is Cast King Sharky Saltwater Spinning Reels. The final reel on this list is the best budget saltwater spinning reel the Cast King Sharky 3. When I saw the price of this reel, I couldn't believe my eyes. It wasn't because of how low the price was, but rather how much value I was getting for the price. What if I told you that this budget reel is smoother and lighter than the Pen Slammer i80 and has an even stronger drag? I'm not kidding. Equipped with 10 plus 1 stainless steel ball bearings, it's got 3 more than the Pen Slammer 3 which makes it smoother. The Pen Slammer IE weighs 13.9 ounces at size 3500. This reel weighs a mere 10.2 ounces at size 4000. The Pen Slammer 3 generates 30 pounds of drag at size 3500. This reel does it at size 1000. At this point, you're probably wondering how the heck this reel is three times cheaper than the Pen Slammer 3. Well, the catch with this reel is that it requires lots of maintenance. Unlike the other reels on this list, the Cast King Sharky Eye of Eye has to be washed much more thoroughly. It's also more vulnerable to sand and water. You'll need to spend a lot more time taking care of this reel, which explains its price tag. Number 3 in my list is Pen Spin Fisher 6 Saltwater Spinning Reels. For starters, both these reels have a full metal body and both have a sealed body and spool. But here's where they start to differ. The Pen Slammer 3 is IPX6 sealed, while the Pen Spin Fisher 6 is IPX5 sealed. All this means is that the Pen Spin Fisher 6 can only withstand a low pressure hose's spray. Since the force from waves will never even come close to a hose's low pressure spray, IPX5 is already adequate to keep all the sand and water out. The Pen Spin Fisher 6 is also similar to the Pen Slammer 3 in smoothness and drag. With 5 plus 1 ball bearings, it's a bit less smooth, albeit still smooth. And it's also able to produce 30 pounds of drag force, just at a larger reel of size 6500. As you can see, the Pen Spin Fisher 6 is a very suitable second option to the Pen Slammer 3. Anyone who wants a reel like the Pen Slammer 3, but at a lower price, should get this reel. Number 2 in my list is Shimano CI 4 Plus Saltwater Spinning Reels. The Shimano Stratic CI4 Plus spinning has no equal when it comes to lightness. About half of the Daewa BG's weight when comparing between the same size. No other fishing reel has ever achieved this legendary feat. This otherworldly lightness makes any kind of fishing a breeze. Apart from being a light reel beyond belief, it's also smooth with 6 plus 1 ball bearings and has a good max drag weight of 19.8 pounds. The one drawback with this reel is its drag. I know this may be confusing since I said its max drag weight was good, but hear me out. A max drag weight of 19.8 pounds is great for size 3000. Nevertheless, 19.8 pounds may be able to take on any inshore fish, but offshore fishes are larger. This means you can land some decent sized offshore fishes, but the larger ones will be off limits to you. As long as you're not targeting large offshore fish or you're only fishing inshore, this reel is the perfect lightweight reel. If you're looking for the lightest reel in the world to fish with, look no further. Number 1 in my list is Pen Slammer 3 Saltwater Spinning Reels. Let's start with the best offshore saltwater spinning reel, the Pen Slammer II. It has rightfully earned this title by being not just smooth and incredibly durable, but also having the most powerful drag system. First off, it comes with 7 plus 1 stainless steel ball bearings. 5 plus 1 ball bearings are already more than enough for a smooth fishing reel. So imagine what 7 plus 1 ball bearings can do. As for durability, a full metal body and an IPX6 sealed body and spool guarantee a long-lasting reel.
A full metal body means no part of the body is plastic, resulting in a stronger reel. And with the body and spool IPX6 sealed, even if you sprayed it with a high-pressure hose, no water would get into the reel. In other words, you'll never see sand or water in your reel. These pretty much bring the chances of corrosion down to zero. This is one fishing reel that won't ever be affected by corrosion. Finally, this reel is unbeatable in drag force. When you're up against monster saltwater fish, you'll need at least 25 pounds of drag, and ideally 30 pounds. Unfortunately, 30 pounds of drag is hard to come by, and when it does, only in very large reel sizes. Amazingly, at only reel size 3500, this reel already offers 30 pounds of drag. This is the only fishing reel that will allow you to tackle humongous fish with such a small reel size. Now, of course, every reel has its flaws. The Pen Slammer II is no exception. Mainly, I found that it's slightly heavier than average. The product page is also inaccurate, stating 6 plus 1 ball bearings when there are in fact 7 plus 1. All things considered, this reel isn't perfect, but you won't find a better offshore spinning reel, not even in higher-end reels. Alright guys, this was our today's video. If you find this video helpful for you, then like the video, and if you come to our channel first time, then hit the subscribe button for our amazing upcoming videos. Be sure to check out the links in the description for the updated price of all products discussed in this video. Hope you have a great day and see you soon in the next video.